Hi, it's Carol from BookReporter.com, and I'm here to share what you're going to see on the site on Friday, October 4th. First, from John Sanford, we've got Bloody Genius. Absolutely love this cover. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, in it was the latest Virgil Flowers mystery. Um, it takes place on a college campus. There's a college campus war, the culture war that's going on that's turned bloody. Just remember, gorgeous cover. You'll be able to, this one will pop right at you in the stores. Who remembers the perks of being a wallflower? Both the book and the movie that came out a couple of years ago. Well, now Stephen Chbosky is back with Imaginary Friend. All right, now here's the premise that Christopher is seven, Christopher is new to town, and Christopher has an imaginary friend. You can imagine where this one goes from there. I'm looking forward to reading it, and once again, we've got a really creepy cover. You can tell we're in Halloween time, everyone. From Joe Hill, we've got Full Throttle which is a collection of supernatural and thrilling short stories. It's a master of doing a really tight, really well done short story, and here's a terrific collection of them. Next we've got The Shape of Night by Tess Gerritsen. This book is set up in Maine, a coastal town, and she's renting a house called Brody's Watch. And she's there because she's trying to finish up a cookbook that she's been working on, and she's kind of stuck and she's on deadline and she's moving ahead. And the woman that was in the house before her has disappeared. She left, you know, suddenly. So this house has become available to her, and it's really hard to find a place up there to rent for the summer. At the same time, she starts seeing shadows and starts seeing a ghost in the house, of the ghost of Captain Brody. So what is going on here? Because at the same time, we're finding that really what did happen to the woman that was renting the house before her, and what's happened to some people in the town. And it seems that a lot has happened at Brody's watch over the years well handled in Tess Gerritsen's hands. Next we've got a single thread from Tracy Chevalier. This book is set after World War I, and you know, we often don't think about what's one of the real casualties of war is that there are a lot more women than men when the war is over. And these women are sort of mourning that the men haven't come back from the war, but at the same time, they're trying to build lives for themselves. There's a group of women that are all working in a church and they're um, embroidering uh, the uh, pew rests and all different things around the church, and they formed a community of themselves. Life is good, and now, just as World War II is coming up on the horizon, she has some decisions about to make about herself, her future, and what she's willing to risk. New fiction, new historical fiction from Tracy Chevalier. From Raymond Corey, we've got Empire of Lies. Now, what if the Ottoman Empire had not fallen what if the Ottomans were ruling all of Europe? That's what's happening in this thriller that is reimagining history and what would have happened. And it's got raves from David Baldacci and Lee Child and Steve Barry. I also have loved uh, Raymond's work, his thrillers for years. So this is a really different take, something different for him. You may have remembered the first book he did, which was about the Templars. And somebody who understands history and understands also how to write a great thriller. So, what's going on at my house right now? To decorate for Halloween or not decorate for Halloween? That is the question. And on Friday, I'll bring you what my decision is about whether or not to decorate the house for Halloween. Looking forward to seeing you Friday.
So what's going on at my house right now? To decorate for Halloween or not decorate for Halloween? That is the question. And on Friday, I'll bring you what my decision is about whether or not to decorate the house for Halloween. Looking forward to seeing you Friday. Okay. Do I usually say anything else? I don't think so. Uh -huh.